Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be seeing a quick demo on how to extract specific piece of information from a PDF file. Let me show you what I mean. Assume that I have a PDF file like this which is mostly an invoice and there might be some scenarios where you would not want to extract the entire data from this PDF file. I would maybe just want the order number to enter in my SAP system or maybe I would want to check the invoice date so that I can compare it with some other data I have for my further analysis. So which means we are trying to train the bot to retrieve only this piece of information which we require and not the entire data. Now let us quickly see how do we do it. The first option we have in your path is to use a get text activity. So let me quickly come to my studio. Please type in get text in the activities panel and you should be able to find the get text activity. Kindly drag and drop the get text activity. I have already created the sequence with and have named it PDF automation and retrieving specific elements. Now I have drag and dropped in the get text activity and first thing I would want to do is I will rename my activity. Like I told you in my previous videos renaming is not a mandatory thing but it will help to increase the readability. Hence I recommend you to rename, rename the activities whenever you use them. So moving on I am renaming the activities as ITR retrieving the order number. Let us try to retrieve the order number and see if we can retrieve it or not. Now it is asking me to indicate on the screen and guys there are some shortcut keys okay you could either hit on alt tab to go to the specific pdf or if you would want the bot to delay for few seconds while you navigate to the other tab you could also hit on function f2 so for this video let us consider hitting on function f2 now let me keep the pdf open so that i'll be able to indicate the required element i want now if you see I am able to indicate this specific element called order number. Okay. Now let me hit click on this. And now this particular order number is retrieved. Okay. And it is saved in the cache. Now how do I retrieve that value? You will have to give an output variable to save the value which has been retrieved. So let me come here. How do you create a variable? One of the way to create a variable is to hit on control K. Please hit on control K and say order number. And as I say it is not always mandatory but uh, this time we also ensure that we are giving a meaningful name to the output variable we have. Alright. Just come out of it. And let us see what value is it extracting. So for that, I'll quickly take a right line activity. I'll drag and drop this here. And I will rename the activity as publishing the order number to the console. Alternatively, you could also take a message box as well. So both of these activities guys, right line activity will actually display the output in the output console and the message box will pop you up with the value which has been retrieved. So let me delete this for now because I would want you to explore the right line activity and let us print the value retrieved in a message box. So I will just say order number and let us save our workflow and let us quickly run our workflow. As you see here, the bot has actually retrieved the order number for us. It says order number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let me hit on OK. And let me rename the message box activity because I forgot to do so. And I would say publishing the order number. Okay. Now, you could also make your message box look a little better. 
how do you do that you could come here on the right side properties you can see something called caption i will quickly come here and i would say i would just give a caption to my message box auto member hit on okay and let us hit on save and let us try to run it one more time so as you see this time it is much better okay i think i misspelled the order number let me come here let me say order number so that it looks much better this time uh, i'll quickly run it and now you could see that there is a message box which is saying order number and it it is retrieving the value for me so this is one way of extracting the required elements from a pdf file thank you for watching this video and in my next video i will show you one more way of retrieving the order number thank you